now no more boring interfaces no more black screens and no more old-fashioned design of your java project now it's time to turn into a graphical user interfaces and this time i'm very excited to share with, with you that we don't need to write the code for the interfaces the good thing today is to use what is called the scene builder that can be integrated with java netbeans and then you can use it by drag and drop your controllers so are you excited do you want to learn how to use the uh, scene builder and to convert your project into more user friendly if so so let's jump into the computer and let me show you how to do this and then we'll talk about how to update our previous project that we worked with to make a login interface with a graphical user interface and to use the date my sql database and more to learn so come and join us hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is an amazing video this will be a great thing to to know about and in this video we'll cover how to use the graphical user interfaces but the good news here we will do that without writing code for designing the interfaces just drag and drop your controllers onto your scene and that will be it Today I will show you how to integrate the scene builder which is the new tool that will help you to using a visual interfaces to design your project and then we will connect it to NetBeans I will show you how to integrate the scene builder with NetBeans and then we'll go from there by designing our first interface and then we'll, uh, we'll integrate this with our previous project that we were working on which is mysql database how to connect to mysql database and using java java database connectivity and then we'll design the login interface connecting the interface to our project and reach some information from the database based on the user input and then we'll validate the credentials of the user so all of that will be covered so stay tuned and let's start working on that so first we want to install the scene builder so right away go to google and search for scene builder and here is that you can just click on this link and start downloading this tool it will be an amazing tool and that will help you a lot to design a very friendly project as well as will speed up your productivity and to design the project that you want without the boring stuff boring black and white screens right so there are a lot a lot of efforts that you are putting but the results were not too good just to show black screen so why we don't leverage uh, the new technology the new tool here which is the seam builder okay i already installed it so you can go ahead and install that and it's a straightforward installation but remember this is an important thing guys here remember you need to know where this tool installed okay you need to know the path so here i am using netbeans after you installed the scene builder and here go in the netbeans go to the tools and then go to options and from there go to java here java tab you see that and then there is tab named java fx so here where you want to write your path the path of the scene builder so you can go browse and you remember the path where you installed it so you can just go to that path mine is installed in the c drive program files and then scene builder you see that so this is an essential this is very important to uh, connect and to integrate the netbeans with the others click ok or apply and you'll good to go i'm already done this now next thing i will start a new project you see that here is a new project and now i will select java fx you see that java fx from there i can select for the first time now java fx fxml application that will allow you to use the scene builder see that save it wherever you want login sys and then i will keep everything as is and 
click finish so here is the project and so if you go to login here source so this is the xml file so if you right click on it and click open that will transfer you to the scene builder and here is it you see that it's easy now you can here is the interface this is the first page that you have it's very nice so you have by default the first label and the first button already as a default you can change it you can add more so we can name it let's say this is login user login you see that now let's add a couple of things from here we can search label box here is the label this is the first label and we can copy and paste this is the second label let's say the first label is user name and the second double click on this label and here password as simple as this you see that but for now let's keep it simple as this and here we have the username and the password we need the text field you see that the text field and we can have the text field the first one here but what I will do with password and I will select another kind of controllers which is password one. This will help you to cover your password by, by some symbols like asterisks. Good. So let's save this one. We are almost done with this part. Not too much to do with but we can for sure change the colors background. So maybe we'll do it later on. Now go back and here you can right click again. You can see it. You can see the interface again and you can from here you can preview show preview windows you see that so you can see this is the preview screen now let's go back here and we can go to the next file which is the controllers here where you can write your code you see that so here is a function the first method that you can write the code that you want to be triggered when someone clicked on the button the login button so here it's already there is uh, some code here and it's already there how to connect the controller i mean the login button that we have into this function this method this is what i will show you now go back to the scene builder click on the button here and if you go all the way down to this tab the code tab you see that here you can on action so which method you want to be triggered when someone click on or take an action on this button so already we have just one the method that i just showed you so you can do your own method so you can write the methods over there so feel free to write the methods there i will show you in a little bit so this is an essential this is very important to connect this controller to the uh, function or the method that you want to handle this event so now let's go back to the netbeans and let's start running this code you see that already there we didn't write any code for the interface this is an amazing thing and now you can just focus on the code behind you can focus on the logic and how to serve the user you see that so if i click let's say i am clicking on the button here i can see the output you clicked me you see that this is the first and here is a hello world that is triggered as well i know this is not in, in the right place let us fix this let's go to the interface and here we have the label so let's keep it here so save now let's go back run it again so let me click hello world and this is the other message so those two statements have been triggered when i clicked on this thing good now the same way if we want to connect this box this password field or this text field to any variable we need to do the following things so first go to netbeans to your project the same way that it's already done the same way that we connected the controller to a variable name that can be used in your code so we'll do this again you see that and here password field and let's name it pw you see that so now this is the variable name that you can use in your code 
and now we want to connect this variable name to the controller to the password controller so go here and then go all the way to code here and you can name the fix id and here from the drop down menu you can see the pw variable you see that so now we are able to connect this box into the, the variable password that can be used in your code this is an important that it's the way that you can process what it's uh, entered here so let's do here we can say that print i want to print the user password so pw is the name of the variable and then get text this is the text that the user will be entering and it will be printed so run you see here and now if i print any password here and click login so we'll see you clicked me and here is the password that the user entered you see that so how cool is this good so now this one if you want to do it you will do it the same way if you want to work with this label and to use it in your code as a variable then again first you go here to your code and i am working on this the controllers here is the controller file and now you can add one more field here i'll copy this you see that and here i can do another variable let's say text field and we'll name it user name and now let's go back again to our example here we'll, con we'll uh, click on the controller the text field and then we'll go to the code tab go to the drop down menu here and here is the username and now it's connected so go back to your code and you can do the same thing here by doing the same statement here instead of password you can say user name so whatever the user enter here in your code let's say raf and the password is raf123 so login so we can do better job here we can use the j option dot show message dialog box you can just print the the message that you want here so we can say password dot get text and the same way here for the username as well so instead here we can say user name you see that so no more print statements so now let's see run it again here let's say my username raf and the password raf123 if i click on login here is it it's better you see that this is dialog box that it can show you something here so we can change different things here so click ok we'll continue working on the same thing in the next video and in the next video we'll be connecting this interface to the database that we started with last time and to make a, a complete login system to enable you to connect to your database retrieve the data match the credentials of the user and see if the user is authorized to get into the system or not so we did a good part here i hope you enjoyed this video but remember to subscribe and to turn the notification bell on so thank you for watching and have a nice day goodbye